let's now try to cover the sensor again. The reading will be high because it's dark. Then I will remove my hand again. It's 622. This video is about ESP8266 and this LDR light sensor. We will make a simple IoT dashboard using the IoT platform Things Board. Let's now connect our ESP8266 to our computer. Once we connect our ESP8266 board on the Arduino, we need to check if it is detected on the port. I'm using Mac OS, so what I will see is this kind of port. If you're using Windows, that should be COM, COM and then a number. So, I will select the node MCU. It's already selected. Uh, it should be here, there, and then as well as the port. Now, next is we open an example for the analog input because the LDR has an analog voltage input. Analog, then analog in, out, serial. Now that we open this example, we need to remove the analog out because we don't need that. What we need to know is if we're actually getting the values coming from the LDR. So all the related analog out will be removed. So let's remove that. Let's put new line here. Let's introduce a longer delay. Then let's try to upload it. Uploading. Okay. A little bit more. Now that it's done uploading, let's see here on the serial monitor the output. We need to select the, the baud rate, right? 9600. Now as you see, there's a value now on our sensor. I will now try to cover the LDR and see what will be the changes on the reading. Now it's 950 if it's covered. If I remove my hand, it will become 600 again. Now we know that our LDR is working, it's now time to connect it to the platform that we will use for creating the dashboard. The platform that we'll, we will be using is called thingsboard.io. This is a nice IoT platform and I encourage you to try it. For you to start you to use it, you need to go to demo.thingsboard.io. When you reach this home page, you need to create an account by clicking this button here, create an account. I already have my account, so I will just log in. When you log in, you will see these options here on the left and then some widgets here. So now that you have the account ready, let's now go back on our Arduino software. We need to install the library for ThingsBoard. To do that, we need to go to Tools. Click Manage Libraries, and here on the filter search, you try to type Things Board. Then it should show you the library here. There. So we will install the latest version. With this library installed on our Arduino, it will be easier for us to interface sensors to the Things Board IoT platform. After a few minutes, depending on your internet connection, the things board will now be installed. Let's now check on the examples. We click File, then go on Examples. Let's check the things board below. There you go, the things board. And then let's choose ESP8266 Send Data. Okay. Once you're now here on the example sketch, there are a few things that you need. First is the Wi-Fi access point where you will connect the ESP8266. So my access point is circuit. 
and then the password is isolator and then the next one is to update this access token this access token will be accessed from the things board so you need to go to the device then we need to create a new device so add new device let's name that LDR sensor device type will be default and then let's add it now it's here on the on the list of devices so we need to make this public so that we can show the data later on but there's another important thing here we need to get the the credential so this is the access token that we need on our sketch we need to copy this so let's copy that let's go back here then just paste it there okay those are the three important steps above and now we can go here below and check our payload. So here we have send telemetry in and send telemetry float. We will remove this because the data that we want to send is the LDR. So temporarily we will send the dummy data. So let's say this is a LDR data and then let's just say we'll be sending 50. Let's now try if we can see that 50 on our dashboard let's upload it now it's still uploading let's wait until it's done now it's done uploading let's now check our serial monitor okay as you see we are getting uh, trash garbage data because our board rate is wrong the board rate should be 115 200 so we need to change the baud rate. Let's change this to 115200. And now we see sending data. So when we see this sending data, um, I think it's now sending data to the things board. Because that's now already on the main loop here. We're now inside the main loop and then it keeps printing this send sending data because it's already sending 50. Let's now go on the things board. Okay, let's go this first. Then we go here. And to, to see if the data is now on things board, let's go on the latest telemetry. There you go. You see, the value is 50 and it's updating every second. To validate that, you can change the value here. Let's say you change that to 70. And when you upload it, this value should be 70. Now I will connect the LDR to our things board sketch. So instead of sending a value that is a constant 70, we will now get the value from the LDR and send it to the things board. So let's do that. We need to add the few things here, the few lines of code here on our ESP8266 and data sketch. So we need to copy paste this code here so that you will not type one by one. That's quicker. We can type, we can, we can put it there. And then on the void loop, we can copy this. Yep. Let's copy that and paste that on our void loop. Okay. This should be good place before sending data okay so the sensor value is now there let's remove this oh that's fine just keep it there okay sensor value sending data and instead of giving here 70 putting here 70 we will now give the sensor value okay so i think we don't forget it we we did not forget anything, so we can upload this again. But I want to increase the delay to around 2.5 seconds. Okay, let's now try to upload this. Okay, uploading. Now it's done uploading. Let's see if we're getting the data. Okay. It's now sending the data. 
every 2.5 seconds. Let's now go on, let's now check on things board. Okay, it's now updating. 625. And now let's cover our LDR. Let's check if it will become 900. See, it's now 900. Same here on the serial monitor. Now that we have, uh, we now have the data coming from the LDR, let's now build our dashboard. To build the dashboard, we know to go here on dashboard. Let's click it. And now you can see different demo dashboard here. Some are included here by default. So we will add a new one. So we create a new dashboard. Let's put a title LDR sensor dashboard. Let's not add any description. Okay. So now we have a dashboard here. We have to make this public as well so that we can make a URL for that. So this one is the one that we will access later. Just press OK. Now it's public. Let's now go here. Open dashboard. No widgets is configured yet. So we need to add widgets. We can add widgets by clicking here on enter edit mode on the lower right. Then let's, you can click this, add new widget or this plus bo button here. Then create new widget. So you can select so many widgets here. You can also make your own. But for now, we will use a chart so that we can plot our data. So let's choose this one, time series plot. And then when you got here, you need to select the data that you want to show so we want to show the data coming from our ldr sensor so we will make an alias for the sensor create a new one ldr and then single entity device then we need to select our ldr sensor there okay now that you have the ldr sensor we should now see the ldr data that we created earlier we will add that and now you see that we actually have the graph of our LDR so that's real time every 2.5 seconds so let's apply changes so it's already there we can change the name you can change the name we can change the colors of the graph and all and then if it's average or max but Let's show, let's see if it will work. I will now try to cover the sensor. Let's see if it go up. See, there you go. It go up to 900 something. And then I will remove it again. And now it will go down again. So let's, let's move, let's put some more widgets here. As I told you, we can add widgets here by clicking the lower right edit mode button again. So let's add more. Let's now go on. Instead of charts, we will now try to use cards. On the cards, there are different widgets as well. So we will use the latest value. Then we can click here. Same process, we need to add. But now we already have the alias for the LDR. So we just need to select that and then LDR data. Then we need to add that. So it's here below. By default, it has a unit for temperature, but we can remove that. So let's remove that. Let's remove that. We can edit the widget, go to the setting, and then there you go. Special symbol. We need to remove that. Then let's just apply changes. Then apply changes. So the LDR data is now here. So if we try to again cover the sensor the data will go up as well as the graph okay i will remove my hand again then let's add a last widget here below let's add a digital gauge probably okay a digital gauge so let's add something like something like this we add again the source of our data okay Add again, should be now below. Okay, 
you now see it here and actually the default range will be up to 100 only so we need to change that because we're actually hitting a thousand value so edit mode again i need i will change this label now because some so that we can have the actual label here so this is the ldr data graph okay now it's changed and then we need to change the range of this digital gauge so we can go on the settings i think it's on advance let's check on the maximum value let's put something like 1200 Okay, and then on the settings, we need to change here. Well, that's fine because LDR data is shown. But I think I need to change the font size because it's a bit big. I think it should be here on advance. Let's check. It's actually here. The font size is 36. Let's make that around 24, maybe. Let's try. Now it's better. There you go. Then let's apply changes. Now let's try to cover it again. It goes to 900. Let's remove it. 1024. Uh, we'll put the my hand again. If it's dark, the value is actually higher. And if it's if it detects light, the, the value is lower. As I told you, we can share the dashboard by just copying the url so it's already public so let's see how we can get that url so we have to click here on the ldr sensor dashboard when you click that you can copy the public link here so let's copy that public link let's try to put that on our browser and when we open that we will now see only the dashboard that we have by using this URL. So now the reading is 620. Let's now try to cover the sensor again. The reading will be high because it's dark. Then I will remove my hand again. It's 622. I hope you find this video useful. Don't forget to like and to subscribe on my channel where I'm uploading daily video. So check out the next video on the next days. Thank you.